Today you will learn a super original card trick that could potentially even fool magicians. Now could it fool Penn and Teller? I don't know, but I will let you try it out because I'll show you exactly how it's done. Let's get into it. We start by shuffling the cards, the spectator can shuffle as well. Now make sure that all the cards are completely different and feel free to pick a card, whichever you want. Let's have a look at that one. Just memorize it and we're gonna throw it back in the deck and shuffle again. Actually, you can shuffle too, but you're not here, so I'll shuffle for you. Now let's look inside this deck. I have a feeling that it could either be this one or, or this one. I'm pretty sure it's either one of these, but let's see. Mm, I'd say it's not the Jack of Spades because you definitely picked the Four of Hearts. Did I get it right? And this is where the crowd goes nuts. You guys applaud. And uh, in your case, uh, maybe hit the like button. Now here's a bonus version. We shuffle the cards. You memorize this card, so memorize this one. Okay, good. We're gonna throw it back in the deck and shuffle it once again. Now you can shuffle the cards as well. However, I'll do it for you. And we're gonna place the deck on the table like this. Usually I would ask you to do this, but since you're not here, I'll do it for you. We cut the deck in half and look at the card where we cut. Was that your card? Yes, let's go. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the performance. Grab yourself a deck of cards and let's learn the secret. Psst. By the way, material of this caliber is usually not available for free for the public, so you better pay attention. And big thanks to Ollie Mealing for letting me teach this on my channel. All right, so now that you have a deck of cards, let's get into it. First, we'll need a key card. So that would mean that you would memorize whatever card is on top of the deck. Just to make it easy to follow, I will be using an ace of spades, but really all you need to do is memorize the top card. So what I like to do is I show that all the cards are completely different. And while I do that, I just peek at whatever cards on top, okay? Um, what you also need to know is how to do an overhand shuffle, which I teach on my channel. This way of doing an overhand shuffle is instead of shuffling the cards and burying the top card in the middle, uh, you would actually peel the top card here and then you keep shuffling like this. So you would peel from the middle part and then you keep shuffling. So if you need more help with the overhand shuffle, check the card right there. So you have your overhand shuffle down. That means that you're able to be controlling your key card that is on top that you memorized. So now all you need to do is to ask the spectator to touch any card or to stop anywhere they want. So you would spread the cards like this. So you hold the cards in your left hand, spread with your thumb towards the right, and then the spectator is able to touch any card. So let's say that they touch this one here, okay? So you would show the card like this. In this case, we have the six of diamonds. So here's the secret, but just don't forget to hit like before I tell you. What you need to do is first you would use your thumb and middle finger to open the middle pack here like this with your other hand, okay? And then here you would press with your middle finger and your thumb and then throw the whole chunk of card, middle cards in this pile here. So it would look like this. So what happens is that you're throwing the whole pile here while peeling the selection and your key card that was on top. So right here, spectator selection and key card is on top. It's kind of peeled out just like this. And then right after you do that, you throw the rest. It's as if you just threw a few chunks of cards in the deck and it looks like a mess. You're doing this in a very relaxed manner. It looks really natural and you don't want to put attention to it. You don't want to, you know, you just want to casually do it. Now we have the, the six of diamonds here, my key card, the ace of spades on top. I open this here and I casually throw it in like that. It should look as casual as that. Now what just happened here is that you just placed the ace of spades next to your spectator selection. So at this moment, you know your key card. In my case, it's the Ace of Spades, but you don't know the identity of the spectator selection. So what we're doing here is that uh, you need to find the key card and the card right below it should be your spectator's card. When you do an overhand shuffle, uh, if you do just a few, it shouldn't mess up uh, those two cards together. As long as you don't do too many, it should be okay. 
you can also ask the spectator to give a few shuffles. Instead of straight up asking them, can you do an overhand shuffle, which sounds really awkward, I would just tell them, can you shuffle the cards? And I would do this, this hand gesture to indicate that you want them to shuffle like this. From here, I will look for the key card, which is the Ace of Spades. And let me show you uh, right here, Ace of Spades. And sure enough, the card right below it is the Six of Diamonds. So now that I found my key card, I know that the card right below it is the Spectator's card. And that is how it's done. Let's talk about the other version that I showed you where the Spectator can even cut the deck in half and immediately identify the card that they selected. Well, that can be learned on the Mealing's membership and the key card effect that I just showed you was taken directly from there. So big thanks to Ollie Mealing for letting me teach this to you for free. It is a subscription, so you have access to this huge library of strong magic as soon as you sign up. Now, what Ollie did tell me is that the price will be increasing in October, which makes total sense simply because the library is so much bigger than what it originally was. However, if you do sign up before October, you'll be able to lock in today's price and you'll instantly have access to easily over a thousand dollars worth of material. But while I'm an affiliate partner, I wouldn't be recommending you anything that I'm not using. I actually pay for my own membership and I learn a lot of solid material from there. Now that we're here with 100K subscribers, let me show you a sneak peek at the next video.